guys. Give me one second. Start, we're gonna start the video in just a second. Sorry guys, it's been long enough, so I want to wait for this to... Loading. Once again, guys, I apologize for the long intro. I get started in a second. Because <clears throat> I need to look at something. Yeah, so we're uh, doing something in right now. Something right now. Oh, I know what I forgot to do. I forgot to actually look. Let's see. I got to look. Um, <clears throat> I forgot to look for a mouse pad, but that's okay. That is okay. My game is missing this model table now. Thank you. 
Yes, okay. Okay. Alright guys, so what is up guys, it is Zombie King 706 here, and welcome back everyone to a brand new Minecraft Windows 10 edition UMP build Intel RHD, no I'm just kidding guys. So welcome back to another Minecraft video, you guys are probably wondering why, why, why are we here on the Minecrafts again, and why do you have the Steve skin? If you guys are wondering... Good for you. <laughs> um, once again, I apologize for the long intro here, but the reason, though, nope, you're not supposed to see that, uh, scroll down. So, the reason that we are here today is because I am going to be showing you some new skins that, um, that I have downloaded, and, um, from, you know, some skin website. So let's go ahead and show you this one, I guess. This is called the Diamond Creeper. Now, I figured the best way to show you guys these skins would actually be to go into the world. And what better world to go into than a brand new survival world that I literally just created. Um, you guys can see I'm at the spawn. It's only this much. I tell you what, if you don't believe me, I'm gonna create it right now. I'm gonna create it again. Just show what was the seed again? The seed, this is the seed right here. If you guys wanna know the seed, I'm actually gonna write down the seed. Um I'm gonna write it down right now. 109. All right. So we're gonna delete, delete world, because there's nothing on it. We really just created create new world. Uh, we're gonna name this once again version 1.5.0.4 survival. Uh, easy boom boom number. Operator C. The C was 109. 1, not 1. 1, oh, yeah, 1, not 9, 0. 109, 32, 1, 32, 1, uh, 9488, 9488. Um, for some reason, I can't scroll down. Show coordinates, use experimental gameplay, uh, education. Education edition, keep inventory on, model grouping off, weather cycle off, uh, multiplayer off, resource packs, legacy edition on, lucky blocks on, better armor on, uh, lucky blocks, table items, god players, uh, what else should we put, balanced armor, armor bonuses, lucky bonus, and let's add the god plans to the top. That's like the only way it works. 
do we have everything? Oh, uh, we just don't have the bedrock armor on, but I you know what? we don't really need that. Guys, I want to add it on the anyway, just because I'm an absolutely boss. I don't know, but I want to add it on there anyway. And uh, texture pack, we're not going to do a texture pack right now. Guys, here we go, and three, two, one, create a brand new survival series. It's going to be lit, guys, so hit that subscribe button if you're new. Smash that like button if we get three or more likes. We will do an episode two. And make sure to hit that notification bell so you guys never miss out on another video. Our world is like super glitched out right now. Let's, uh, before we start, let's give it some time to load in. Probably. Uh, I did turn on bonus chest. I do not see a bonus chest. This is a problem. I think I have to load up this world again. I think there's gonna be one. So guys, first of all, this is the normal Steve skin right here. Let's uh, this, this. Let's go and get this out of the way. So this is the normal Steve skin right here, right? Right? Right. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna change our skin to the diamond Reaper. So this is the Diamond Creeper. You guys, what the hand looks like. Pretty cool, right? So this is the Diamond Creeper skin. You guys can get a good look at it and it shows you guys this one. But this is like the normal Creeper, except it's it's blue. Uh, that's pretty much that skin. Now, guys, we have some epic skins to show you guys. All right, so we're gonna start off with just you know the normal ones. So this right here is a lava creeper. You guys heard it right, a lava creeper. Now, of course, you can't have it to where the water looks like the lava looks like it's flowing. That would be like completely amazing. It'd be like the best skin in the entire world. But for right now, this is what the lava skin looks like. This looks like um, Preston plays skin without the hoodie on. This is what it looks like. It has no clothes on. This is only, like, the second out of, like, five skins, or the second skin that we have to show today. So the next one I'm going to show is not too great, but it's pretty cool. This one is the Creeper Overlord. So, this I mean, the name explains it all, guys. It is literally a creeper that looks really cool, but then it has, like, the face, has, like, a 3D effect on it. And if you look at the arm there, because I feel like one of my favorite things in Minecraft is to, like, when you're, you know, when you're holding something, you're mining something, and you see your arm, you want to have a skin that looks really cool. So that's why I love to show off the arm. This is the Creeper Overlord. Let's check out the next skin, guys, because I think we got, like, three more skins to go here. Alright, so the next one we're going to check out is the, uh, we'll, we'll check out, we'll check out this one. This is the one I've been using on my videos. This is the drowned skin. It does have some 3D textures as well. This skin is the skin of one of the brand new mobs in a Minecraft uh, that you guys find in the oceans. Pretty cool skin. And now for the uh, uh, definitely not uh, least, but last but certainly not least, the Grim Creeper. This is the one we're going to be using for today's video. It looks absolutely amazing, guys. This skin is so cool. It is literally the Grim Reaper, but in Minecraft. And instead of the Reaper, it's a Creeper. It's literally what it is, guys. It is the Grim Creeper. It looks awesome. It sounds awesome. The Grim Creeper. I mean, we can't get better than that. I mean, look at that hand. Look at those 3D textures, guys. Look at those, I mean, the way that skins have came, or, you know, the way that skins have evolved since Steve to this character. I mean, look at this, guys. Look at this character right here, okay? You guys see it. You see all the 3D textures on it. Look at the hand. You guys see the hand here. Now, let me go back to Steve. Let me show you Steve. Click, click on Steve. This is Steve. This, is, this was the first Minecraft skin ever created, okay? So this is what they used to look look, look at this, guys. Look how fat Steve is. He's got a fat hand, okay? He's got a fat hand. This is what the first Minecraft skin looked like, okay? Okay, now this is my skin right here. Look at this. Ladies and gentlemen, I just love this skin. 
Look, look, look at the hand. Look at the hand. It looks awesome. So we just spent like 16 minutes here just, to, you know, going over. But how do we have so many hearts when we just loaded up this brand new world? Because if we go to settings, if we go to global, re nope, if we go to resource packs, you guys will see. Nope, if we go to behavior packs, you guys will see the God Players version 2 add-on, which basically makes it to where y y y your attack damage is like 5,000. Guys, okay, you have a hundred watches. Watch this. Pow. You guys think, wow, that's amazing. You can like one punch a chicken anyway. You guys ready for this? Pow. You guys can one punch any mob in the game, even the wither. Okay, I don't actually know if that's true or not. Um, I'm just claiming that. I really don't know if that's true or not. I don't even know how much damage this thing really does. I think you only do like 12 damage or something like that. But yeah, you actually, you can sit here and kill them all up if you want, but you have a hundred hearts. And there, here's the chest. What do we got? This chest absolutely is horrible. The lucky bonus add on did not work at all. It did not work at all. It's a piece of work. Not get, uh, let me, like, just kidding guys. I don't know why uh, it came out so weirdly. But just kidding guys, the, the lucky add on is like one of the best things in the world. Now this is a random seed that I put in. I put in the name of one of my favorite YouTubers. And then we'll show you guys the numbers. But the, my favorite YouTuber right now is, of course, Zombie King 716. I'm just kidding, guys. It, it, that's my favorite YouTuber of all time. But my second, alright, my, my second favorite, also Zombie King 716. Just kidding, guys. And if you don't know who I'm talking about, leave this video right now. You do not want to be I'm just joking with you guys. Please, please stay. I need the, I need the views. Please. And subscribe right here. If you're gonna stay here, subscribe while you're at it. I love you, uh, very appreciated. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you very much. Alright, let's go ahead and dive into the water here. Uh, Luminati. <laughs> the only thing I can say right there, Luminati. So, I'm super excited to bring you guys. This really is a random seed, I don't know what to expect here. But uh, I am definitely excited to, you know, be bringing a new series. I think it's gonna be really cool because I haven't yet. If you guys would recognize this. If you, if you don't play Minecraft, you, I just love this game, guys. Like, I'm gonna be doing this video, like, forever now. I just love this game. Like, I'm gonna dream about this game tonight. Not really, guys, because that, that is just weird. Don't do that. If you dream about your Minecraft, you, you know you play it too much, okay? What is this? What is this? Well, if you guys don't know what it is, then you must not dream about Minecraft because I had a dream about this last night. I am just kidding with you guys. This is one of the new biomes, because I was, uh, I guess you could say lying, but joking with you. Um, this. Okay, um, so this is the new biome, the Iceberg, you heard it right, not the Ice Bike, we've had that biome before, but the Iceberg, um, Village. Okay, what? The Iceberg Biome. This is now one of the, not the, but one of the rarest biomes in the game. Not only is there this, this little baby Iceberg Biome, but the, the mama is right over there, guys. It is, like, humongous. Yeah, so this really is not a random seed. Uh, the seed is all capitals Echo Soldier. If you guys don't know the YouTuber Echo Soldier, I was gonna say you, you don't deserve to be here, but I've already said that before. And I feel like I would sound stupid, but just kept repeating the same thing. So if you guys haven't, go check out my boy Echo Soldier. Um, if you, if you tell him uh, if I sent you, uh, if you t are you trying to attack me? What? No, please. I'm helpless! No bitch! Come after me. I tell you, I really don't want to do that. You're like... That's the only thing I've ever seen. Now, there is one extra add-on that I did- Why is there a baby polar bear all the way over here? What are you doing? I don't know. That, it probably doesn't even know what to do. Well, why are we just messing around here? We need to get started in our mic. We need to get started. Uh, we, we, we need some trees, we, we need some wood, we need- we need everything in Minecraft that normal players need, so we're gonna swim. 
Ugh, we failed. That's okay. We have 100 hearts. We just lost. Like, like, oh my, oh, there's a drowned. That's the skin that we have, guys. Why are we swimming so slow right now? Come on. I'm not that fat. We're not Steve. We shouldn't be swimming the same speed. Get it. You get it. Because everybody says Steve is fat. You get it. You get it. If you don't, too bad. <laughs> Uh, well, if you, well, if you didn't get it at first, I just explained, so you, you should get it. Yet. But anyway, guys, I really am excited. You know, all jokes aside, I really am excited. Ex uh, I really am excited uh, to be starting a new series, and I feel like we need to watch the series because you guys know the modding community for Minecraft is like absolutely insane. The things that they can do. Uh, but something that. I, I love to do it. I've done videos before. It's like redstone houses and survival houses in Minecraft. It's where people create these worlds and they upload like their own survival worlds onto Minecraft like, website or whatever. You can download it and you can look at it and you can continue playing on it and do some things that they may have not have done in your survival world, which is really cool and I like that. But, I mean, have you guys noticed, uh, you know, just real quick, real quick, real quick, real quick, you know what I mean? Um, the, the quickness of the quickness. Okay. Um, but you guys noticed how like my voice like just changed. Like I was all excited, hyped up, and I thought, "All right, I'm all getting inside." Now, now I have a deep voice. Very scary. So anyway, back to the subject here. Uh, there is another add-on that I did want to add on. Uh, it's called the No Hunger Add-on. I don't know if you guys remember those days, but like in the like for like all the old oh, there's a turtle. It's a sea turtle. Yay! But um, in some long, 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 I mean long time ago in Minecraft um, world, um, there used to be No Hunger. I don't know if you guys, if you guys played. Guys, if you're one of those players, is there a hot bar slot that's No, we're gonna just have to hold the gas here. I mean, what's the coolest? Um, you know what? Actually, uh, yeah, well, let's keep this. I was gonna uh, hold a pork chop. That's where the game would work. No, my bad. The we, we, we explode things. But, I knew that. This skin has got me so excited, that's why I like, you know, I'm not excited for this video. Anyway, this is almost a 24 minute long video, we've not even got started yet. We'll tell you when we have, we'll mind some truth. But, the point is, I'm going to slow down talking a little bit, because I'm kind of going fast. When I go fast, I messed up. So, um, but in the old versions of Minecraft, like, you know, the beta versions and the alpha versions, there used to be no, like, hunger bar. As you guys see right now, you know, I have my health, my experience bar, and then the chicken drums, which engage your hunger. Uh, and like I said, in the old versions of Minecraft, the zombies trying to go after me, so I'm going to add a five mode, just to watch it more for a minute, make sure it doesn't get us. So going to be there we go. Um, so, you guys see my hunger bar, right? Like, like I said, in the old version of Minecraft, there was no hunger bar, and you would eat food to regenerate health. You wouldn't eat food to, you know, gain, or to, you know, eat it. So, you know, you would never lose sprint, you know, none of that existed. Uh, actually, back then, you couldn't lose sprint, you just had to walk around, there was no sprinting. Um, but yeah, back then, there was no hunger, and someone has recently... Uh, made a mod, or an add-on, I should say, uh, that takes the hunger bar away, which is pretty cool. So, like, you know, if you're one of those people that liked the old version of Minecraft, it's only one punch a zombie, guys. Well, to, to be honest, this thing does do attack damage, so, uh, um, hang on, that's what it's called.
Alright guys, sorry about that, uh, my name he called me. Uh, anyway, so, um, yeah, so, you know, if you guys want to go back and experience what it was like a long time ago, you know, when there was no hunger, you don't never have to worry about hunger, which is, like, a great thing. Uh, even in the real world, guys, we want to stop hunger, okay? Okay, we want to stop. Anyway, um, you know, if you want to go back and, you know, have, like, the old Minecraft where there was no hunger, but still have, like, all the new Minecraft features, that's definitely going to add on to and I was thinking about downloading it, but I don't know. Anyway, my point is, going back to the maps and stuff earlier, um, I've downloaded a lot of maps, like survival maps, and you know, just like creation maps, and I've looked at some stuff that people have done. I recently just got done, you know, um, actually surviving on a survival of this uh, uh, It was really cool. I mean, I even, you know, continued with their survival island. Not survival island, but survival items. And I, you know, because they, there's a couple things they haven't done, like they, you know, they had some farms, and I advanced the farms, and I actually found the inner portal, or the end portal, I don't know why I say inner portal, the end portal, and actually killed the inner dragon, that's something they had not done in that world, but that world was actually made, like, a long, long time ago, like, when I say long time ago, I mean, like, before... Like, it was, I don't know, I wouldn't go that far, but, uh, before the in-city was added into Minecraft, um, uh, and I don't know if it actually was that or not, or if it was just, like, glitched, because when you would kill the inner dragon, first of all, like, if you got him to, like, below half health, it would just immediately say, okay, you know, inner dragon died, and when you killed him, he wouldn't drop any XP, uh, and let me just tell you this story, so I, after I killed him, I got to, like, half XP, and all of a sudden it said, Dying. I'm like, what? Okay, God, because I joined the uh, strength potion. I was like, does the strength potion really do that much damage? Uh, did it just kill him? Because after I got him to have health, you know, I drank my uh, strength potion. I was like, alright, time to drink my uh, strength potion. I hit him once, and then said he had died. I'm like, there's no way. Like, alright, whatever. Um, he dropped like 2 XP, so I got that, you know, he gave me 2 levels. Um, spider. <laughs> um, uh, he gave me like two levels, that was it, and I was like, oh, you know, at least we killed him, let's, uh, let's get the dragon in, look, there's no dragon in, why is there no dragon in, that's weird, um, and I looked, and there was no in gate, like that, in the NC gateway, I was like, what, so, I was like, what is happening? What I did is I actually went in, I, you know, I didn't want to go to the world. So I made, I uh, exited the world, made a copy of the world, and I went back into the copy world, and I went into creative and respawn in the inner dragon and killed him again, right? Did the same thing. No end gateway, no, no XP. No XP, uh, where's my big X? No XP, no uh, end gateway, no dragon island. What's happening? So, I went through the end portal, and I went back to my world, and I heard a noise. Because I was actually in the crafting table, because I had, you know, got there, and I had some stuff, and I was crafting, some, uh, I was crafting a, uh, I don't know what I was crafting, but I was crafting something, I was in the crafting table. And I hear a noise. It was like, Ugh, you know, like, I don't know exactly. That's a horrible impersonation. But the, the noise that the Ender Dragon makes, I was like, what? What is happening? And, uh, oh, yeah. I'm, just F1 mode, so cool. I'm surprised it's like just now I can like the sun's going down. It's crazy. Um, but basically, uh, I heard the noise and I went out of the crafting table. I was like, what is this noise? And, out of the blue, I hear the noise like two more times because then I put you know put the stuff I crafted into a chest. I was organizing my items that I got in from the end, and I go out of the chest and I hear it again, and I see something fly by my house because like my house has like big windows in the front or their house you know the map here, and um, I saw something black fly by. And I'm like, no way, is the Ender Dragon in my world? And next thing you know, you guys know, like, if you go to the end, 
how it would show up, like, Ender Dragon and then have the health bar, that showed up. I'm like, what? And he actually had, like, half health and then, like, you know, like, five damage done to him, where he actually, like, the damage I did to him in the end, I'm like, how is he here? And, you know, he was actually flying around, but he was kind of glitched. Well, it was like the Ender Dragon, he would fly around and, like, come back, like, because uh, I had a bridge going across some water. He would, like, land him on the bridge, you know, like, he was in the end, like, that was the middle, and he would fly around. But he would fly through, like, the buildings and stuff, and normally when he does that in the end, he destroys the blocks. But he wasn't even destroying blocks, when he was just flying through it. And I killed him there, he dropped... Like, 3 XP that time. I was like, oh, well, at least I get an extra level that time. Nothing happened. Nothing at all. So I said, okay, well, that was a weird glitch, but I killed him in... I killed him, technically, now, so let's go back to the end. Went back to the end portal. Went to the end. Nothing had happened. There was still no Dragon Egg, no in-city gateway, nothing. I went back to the overworld. I said, is it there again, went back to my house, did the same things I did last time, nothing happened. So, after that, I was like, okay, well, I've pretty much done everything I want to do in this world, just delete it. So, I deleted the world. I don't know what happened to it, it was just completely glitched. But we got some items now. So, uh, did we pick up a sapling, two saplings? We need some dirt. Yeah, so that, that's pretty much it, but I just wanted to uh, explain that to you guys. It was a crazy glitch. I don't know, like, I don't know what happened. But, excuse me, I got to hiccup. It was insane. It was just crazy. I'm like, what is happening? I didn't even know, guys. It was just crazy. Um, but anyway, so, you know, that was kind of my survival world that I was playing on for the time being. And I was like, you know what? Dolphin over there. How's the dolphin over there? So I, I was like, alright, you know what, let's create a brand new world, okay, a brand new, oh, I forgot, I turned off all these days of these reactions, no, it isn't, I'm not turning on them, or actually, I was going to turn these sounds, um, but, you know, I was like, you know, seeing all the stuff that he had built and stuff, I was like, you know what, it's been a long time, since I've done like a survival, we're not gonna be here as long as we were last time. Um, but I was like, you know, it's been a while since I've done like an actual survival world. The last time I did this was on the console edition, and I actually had like a legit survival world. Now, it is very very hard for me to do a legit survival world because and I've done it. I have done a legit survival world where I have gotten and if you guys don't believe me because I've earned if you go to you know my achievements I have earned every single not not on the computer not on the computer um, but like back on the console edition I have completed every single achievement. There is two achievements that I have not completed. That is play for 100 days and um, explore nine maps and place them in item frames. Now, if I don't unlock that achievement, I'm not going to count it because I really don't care about that one. But the only achievement that I need to unlock is the play for 100 days. Now, if I put the achievements on here and if I go to that achievement, uh, play for 100 days. You guys notice, look how close I am. And I've only been, I have like very, very literally. Uh, or, I'm trying to say this. Basically, I have not played on a legit survival world, like, at all, like, very little. And look how much this bar has been filled. Now, on the PlayStation or console edition, you can't actually see this bar here. So, I, mean, I can't really tell how you know, close or far away I am. But as many times as I've played legit survival, on the console edition, I know that I am very, very close to completing this. So, I played for 100 days, so that's the only one I've done. Then I have done every single one of these achievements. You got, if I scroll down and uh, up and down, can you guys see every single one of these achievements I have completed them all? How many, it says, it, um, 
time flight, 26 hours, I'm 19 percent visits, all oh, achievements. So there is 87 achievements in Minecraft right now, I can put 17 on here. So, 87, I have only... So I have completed 85 out of 87 achievements in Minecraft. That's a lot. You guys know how long it takes to do every single one of these achievements? You guys know how long it takes to earn 87 achievements. It takes a long, long time. Anyway guys, so this video is really just getting set up. In the next video we are legitly going to start. Now this world of course is not going to be all legit survival. There's really some fear. But anyway, I was saying it's very, very hard for me to actually do a legit. Like I said, I've done it multiple, multiple times. But I really, really have to dedicate myself really hard to do a legit survival. Because I hate... It's just, I'm one of those people that I like to build things, and when I, when I want to do something, I want to do it right then. I'm not one of those people that work to do, I'm not one of those people that like to work to do things. Now, that's not always true. Even in creative, you know, I may grab something, and then, like, a, you know, if I want to, you know, find some gold or some iron or something, I won't just grab it from creative, and I'll grab a pickaxe and go mine. Because, you know, I still like to do it from the game. But, you know, sometimes if I want to build, say, uh, a, sn a snow farm, or if I want to build an iron golem farm, I'm not going to wait to collect all the materials to build it. I want to build it right now. So if I ever do a legit survival, uh, I really have to dedicate myself, you know, like just kind of calm down, lose my anger problems, because you guys know Minecraft, I have rage quit it so many times. Because I hate dying, because in, le in legit survival, there's no key to it. So when you die, you lose everything that you had on you, and it's so annoying. Like, I've died so many times, like, you know, I'll be mining, and I'll collect, you know, I've just got some diamonds, so, you know, some armor, some enchantment books, some gold, and you die. And you lose all of it. And you don't know how to get back to where you died, and if you do happen to get back, then you're like, well, how do I get back to the surface? And then you're lost, and you're like, and then you get all of your useless stuff back, and then you lose all your diamonds and your enchantment books and your pickaxes, but you know, you have all your useless stuff. Like, you know, you, you might keep like a wooden pickaxe, or you know, you might keep a couple pieces of wood, or a couple pieces of coal, but everything else you've lost. It's really frustrating. So, for me to really do a legit survival, like I said, I have to, it sounds weird, but trust me, if you guys have never played Legit Survival, try it. Just try it. One world, just try it. And you guys are laughing at me now, but once you guys try to play and you feel like what it is, like you know, you know what it's like to play, you guys are gonna be like, wow, you was right. Now you guys are probably thinking, wow, you're like the only person that probably has this problem. That's not true. I actually know people that do not play survival because I don't technically know them personally, but I know people that cannot um, play Minecraft, like, you know, play a dolphin spot. But I cannot, like, not me, but they can't play survival because they will rage quit so hard. Like, it's, they hate it so much because, like, you know, it's really difficult. Like, you really, like, if you ever want to play Minecraft, you really have to dedicate yourself to that world. You know, it's not one of those things that you can just kind of, you know, hop on the creative world and build whatever you want and then leave. The survival world, you've got to have the time. You, you've got to, like I said, in the survival world, you need time. If you're one of those people that don't have a lot of time, don't try survival. Because you're going to die. If you you got to have patience. That's the number one thing. you got to have patience. If you, have, if you don't have patience, don't even try it. Don't even try it. Like me, I have very little patience. And like I said, I can do a legit survival. But once I get started, I'm like, I should do this more often. This is really fun. But getting to that point, it is so difficult. It is a long, long journey. That's why you'll see these people with survival worlds, and you're like, oh, this is cool. 
you know, it's, it's pretty cool, you know, it's cool building stuff, you know, whatever. You know, I can build that, and, you know, I have my time to create it. But to them, it means a whole lot. Because actually building that in survival can take weeks. I don't know, I went backwards. It can take days. Or technically it can take hours, days, months, even years. Uh, like, there's just one guy that uh, recently uploaded a map. It took him, what do you say? I don't remember how long he said. Like, I'm not even kidding you guys. You can look this up. Um... Uh, Log.zip, a Minecraft YouTuber, actually made a video on this. It took this guy seven years to make, like, a build. He, like, seven years, he played on the survival world. Now, that's a long time, but some of you guys may look at these builds and be like, eh, you know, that's, that's okay. But to him, he, like, if he looks at this world, he is so, like, to him... His life is completed. His Minecraft life is, has been completed. He has beat the game. He's done everything he's wanted to do. And he's done it legit survival. And he has worked a lot of his life away. He has worked so hard to accomplish, you know, what he's got done. So, basically, if you play le legit survival, no matter, even if you build a dirt house, okay? Even if you build a dirt house, you feel good because you're like, I... I had the patience, I had the time, and I built a real house. I think not real, I mean, it's a house you can live in. But you built a house in legit survival, you did. I mean, no matter what you do in survival, it's an accomplishment because survival is really hard. Some people think of survival, you know, eh, it's cool, you got hearts, you can die, what's the big deal? But if you actually get them to play a legit vanilla Minecraft survival world, they won't last a day. They will not last a day because they don't know how hard it is. But guys, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. This video was really just kind of me talking. Um, but like I said, in the next video, you know, we're going to be actually doing some things. We're going to have tons of fun, guys. Tons of fun in this world. I cannot wait. Anyway, the whole point of this conversation was... I could have said this a long time ago. But the whole point of this conversation was... I've seen other survival worlds and they have... Uh, made me, like, I've seen them, and they have made me want to start over and do a survival world and build amazing builds just like them. So, guys, I hope to see you in the next video. Once again, hit, um, la la la. Hit that subscribe button if you're new. Smash that like button. If we get three or more likes, we will do another episode. And guys, we're going to do another episode anyway because this really wasn't a first episode. I'm going to call it episode zero. Um, but in the, um, on the episode one, if we get three or more likes, we're going to do another episode. That's going to be the way you know, through the whole entire series. And this may only be five episodes long. It may be ten. It may be twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, a hundred, five thousand, one million. We may do this for the rest of our lives. Who knows? Probably not. But... You guys get the point, and hit the notification bell so if we do do a video our entire life, you guys won't miss out on a single episode. I hope you guys did enjoy, and I will see you guys in episode one of our new survival world. Peace out.